everyone, I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to That's Clever. Sometimes crafters don't just follow fashion trends, they create them. This artist from California pairs a butterfly with fur-lined footwear, and she shows why she's stuck on beads. Hi, I'm Kendra Palmer from Los Angeles, California. And I love footwear. I make sandals. And I make pumps, too. And today I'm going to make some boots. Just like these. I can't make the boots outside. I have to go inside to my studio. You know something? I'm tired of walking. And this is my studio. Today, I'm going to work on this boot. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of faux fur, and I'm going to cover the outside of the boot. It's cutting time. I cut the fur from the beginning all the way to the end very lightly so I don't make a crew cut. And believe me, I learned that the hard way. And what a difference faux fur makes. I have my needle and I have my thick jewelry thread and I'll sew this on to the boot. I sew the top part of the fur over the top part of the boot and then I begin sewing. I start by slightly sewing into the first layer of leather in the boot, making sure that I don't go all the way through to the other side of the boot. I use pliers to help me pull the thick thread through the leather. The leather would tear if I don't use the thick thread and this thick needle. I finally finished sewing the faux fur onto the boot, but it needs something else, crystals in the shape of a butterfly. I can't just glue the crystals to the fur, so I use this thick plastic. I picked this up from the shoe supply store. I made this template of a butterfly wing now I'm going to trace it onto the plastic. And I just use a regular ballpoint pen. To make one wing, I need two pieces of plastic, a top and a bottom. Time to cut them out. I decided to make my first pair of shoes because I couldn't find them in the stores. So I made my own rendition of a pair of shoes. I went into a major department store, and all the ladies loved them. They thought I bought them from the store. I have my two pieces. So now I'm gonna grab a piece of tissue paper, put it in between, and glue it all together, just like a sandwich. I've already cut out my tissue paper from the same template. Now I'm gonna freehand the same design onto the tissue paper. This design is golden, so I'm ready to glue it in between both pieces of plastic. This is industrial glue, and it drives permanent and clear. This doesn't look like much right now, but I'm blinging in the crystals. I'm going to outline the pattern with glue. To apply my crystals, I'm going to use a handy-dandy wax stick. A wax stick is sticky, so it helps me to pick up the crystals, and it helps keep them in place. I finished outlining my design. Now I'm going to fill it in with some color. I like to get up close and personal with my work. That way I know the details are just right. I determine my color pattern just by the mood. I guess you can say I wing it.
finish putting all the crystals onto the wing. This is why the tissue paper comes in handy. It fills in all the gaps. If a butterfly only had one wing, it would flap around in a circle. So that's why I made the other pieces to add to it. I've got four wing pieces and a big crystal for the body, and I'm gonna sew them all together. I finished sewing all of the pieces to the butterfly together and gave it some cute antennas. Now I'm going to give it the boot. The butterfly is attached and I'm finally finished with the boots and they look fabulous! Woohoo! These boots were made for walking and I'm gonna go.